with my last video which was about the matter protocol you people kind of got interest in the new protocol and many of you also tried working with it now as we all know the majority of makers and hobbyist community uses home assistant for controlling their devices and that's why i got a lot of questions regarding can we integrate that matter compatible device that we made using esp0 code with our home assistant network well the answer is definitely yes and here is that video that will guide you how you can do that without writing any single line of code with the help of esp0 code so now let me guide you step by step about how to do that but after a very short ad Come on, it's useful. This video is sponsored by LTM, which is a PCB designer based software company. Now, LTM is not just another PCB designing software, rather, it's a world class and award winning PCB designing tool that has some features like advanced interactive routing with auto completion, any angle routing, bus routing, face and land tuning, follow me mode, and much more, which makes it an ideal choice for PCB designing by a lot of companies. Along with this, they do also have LTM 365 that not just covers the PCB designing part, but also helps with design sharing via web, sharing designs to mechanical team for product design, centralized cloud storage, and a lot more. And along with all this, they do have a very useful search engine made just for electronic components called as Octopart. Using Octopart, you can search for any components and you would be able to compare its price and availability around the globe. Not only that, you can also get the details about the components like its specifications and data sheet all at one single place. So LTM provides everything to make your production task a lot easier. So do try out all the services right now as you'll be getting a free trial version by just clicking the link mentioned in the description. Happy making! Now first of all, let me guide you with the simplest and easiest method to get started with Home Assistant on your Raspberry Pi and in case if you already have set up the Home Assistant, well you can skip this chapter and move on to the next one. For others, you need to download this software called as Raspberry Pi Imager whose link I'll be attaching in the description of this video. Okay, here just click on choose OS. Uh, then go to the other specific purpose OS, then click on this third option which is Home Assistant and once again select Home Assistant and select the OS for your Raspberry Pi. In my case, I'm using the Raspberry Pi 4 so I'll select this and I already inserted the SD card in my computer so I'll select that SD card which is of 64 GB and click on the right button. Uh, are you sure you want to continue? Yes, we want to continue. So first of all, it will erase it and it is asking for the password and it started flashing the OS on our SD card. Well, after the OS is successfully written, I'll remove the SD card, insert into my Raspberry Pi board, which is already connected with a LAN cable via my router. Now I'll power up this Raspberry Pi. And now we need to wait for at least 20 minutes and you can check its status on your computer. <laughs> Let me show you. So here I'll open the Google Chrome on my computer. Now make sure the computer which you are using should be connected with the same Wi-Fi router through which you are connected your Raspberry Pi running the Home Assistant. After confirmation, just type out as homeassistant.local-8123 and press enter. Okay, so it says preparing home assistant and this may take up to 20 minutes. So let me just skip this part of video. A few minutes later. Okay, so the home assistant started running on the Raspberry Pi and now the next step is to make an account here. So I'll click on create my smart home and I'll just type out the details and click on create account. Here, just click on next. Here, select your country. I'll select India here. Click on next. Click on next. Click on finish. And we are done with setting up the home assistant. Now let's just move on to set up our matter device. Now the process to be followed for setting up our matter device is exactly the same that we have followed in our last video. But if you're watching this for the first time, let me guide you how to set up the matter device. And here I'm using my Xiao ESP32 C3 board, which is connected to my computer. So you need to open the Google Chrome and to go to zerocode.espressive.com. And here you need to make your accounts. So I already made my account, so I'll sign into my account. After doing that, just click on create new product. Give the product a name, I'll name it as HA Demo, that stands for Home Assistant Demo. Now here we need to select which kind of device or product we are making. So I'm making a plug, which will be basically a relay attached with a bulb and the indicated type will be GPIO. I'll select this and click on next step. Now here we need to select which chipset we are using. So currently we are using the ESP32C3 module. So I'll click on the next step. And now we need to configure on which GPIO we have connected the particular peripheral. So the input button, let's just connect the input button to GPIO 10. The output relay to GPIO 9 and indicated idly, let us connect to GPIO 8 itself. Okay, so that was pretty much it about the configuration. Click on the next step. 
and we are done. So this is the final review of your product. And once you confirm everything, just click on try ESP Launchpad and it will generate a firmware for your development board. Okay, the process is done. Click on connect your device and I'll select my device which is connected to this computer. Click on the connect button and yeah, it started flashing the firmware on my board. Okay, so the firmware is successfully flashed and we got our Matter QR code as well. So that was all about setting up our ESP board as a Matter device. So now let me take you to the next step in which I'll let you know how to integrate this Matter Ready device with our Home Assistant network. So now to integrate both of them, I'll recommend you to use the smartphone application. So in my case, I already installed this Home Assistant app on my iPhone. So I'll open it up and here I'll click on the setting icon and click on add server. Now make sure your smartphone is connected with the same Wi-Fi network in which your Home Assistant server that is the Raspberry Pi is connected with. So I'm already connected to my smartphone. So here is that device. So I'll click on it and now I need to log into my Home Assistant account. So I'll quickly log into that. Okay, so I'll go to my home and click on activate. So that's my home assistant network. So now I'll click here and click on settings. Go to device and services, click on devices and then click on add device. Here search for matter. Here, as you can see, the matter is still in beta version in Home Assistant. So you may find a couple of bugs here, but during my testing, like with the ESP zero code and the Shao C3 board, I didn't face any of the problem, but still it's in beta. Okay. I'll click here on matter. It says, please wait, starting the configuration. So here we need to click on the submit button now and it will first of all install the add on into my Home Assistant network. So this will take a couple of minutes. So I'll skip this part of video. Okay, so the app says success created configuration form matter. So I'll click on the finish button. And with this, the matter add on is installed in our server, but still we need to add the matter device. So again, we'll click on add device. And as you can see, we got the option on the top called as add matter device. So I'll select that. And now we need to scan the QR code. But before scanning the QR code, I'll recommend you to click on this restart device to restart that firmware. And after that, now let's just scan the QR code. Okay, so I scanned the QR code. I'll click on add to home assistant. Okay, so there are some commands being executed in the ESP32 board. It's an uncertified accessory, so I'll click on add anyway. And yeah, we successfully added the matter device in home assistant. Yes, it was that simple. So let's quickly uh, give the name to this. I'll name it as HA demo. That's home assistant demo. Click on continue, click on done. And we have successfully added the product in our home assistant. Now let's just add it to the dashboard and let's just complete it. So I'll go to the uh, main dashboard. And yes, the switch is already added to the dashboard. So now let me make those hardware connection and let's see this working of the matter device in action. Okay, so here is the complete setup with the Xiao C3 board. So I have connected this uh, button, the input button, the relay is connected to the plug pin and this is the indicator LED and I have connected a bulb with it. And this is the home assistant dashboard, okay? So first of all, let's just try with the manual button. So I can press the button to turn on the bulb and I can press it to turn it off and the real time feedback is given to the home assistant's server quite instantly without any latency, okay? And similarly, I can control it with the home assistant platform as well. I can turn it on, turn it off. Turn it on from here, turn it off from here and the indicator LED is also reflecting its status but it's kind of a reverse logic so it is when it is turned on the LED turns off and when it is turned off the LED turns on. So the active low active high logic need to be changed here but yeah everything is perfectly working here with the home assistant platform and this time with the matter protocol. <music> And now once your device is added to the home assistant network where there are endless possibilities rather than just controlling it to the mobile application. For an example, you can do automation in this matter compatible device like to turn it on and off automatically at a particular time. Let me show you a demo. So here in the back end near to the automation, I'll click on the plus icon. So now I want to turn on and off or rather toggle my product. So here I'll select toggle your product. And now here we need to provide a trigger condition. So click on add trigger and I want to trigger it based upon the time. Well, you can choose multiple trigger points here. So I'll click on time here and I will want it at a fixed time interval. So right now the time is 7.24. So I'll give the time as 7.27 maybe. So 7 in the evening, that means it's 19. 27 okay at 1927 i want my bulb to be toggled if it is on it will be turned off if it is off it will turn on let's just save it give it the name new automation and we are done let's just see the results now so the bulb is in off condition right now and the clock says 726 so let's just wait for one minute and the bulb should get turned on automatically 
Okay, it's 727 and the bulb got turned on and that's how you can automate the appliances using Home Assistant. And there are many more configurations and add-ons you can do with the Home Assistant network. So how was this video according to you? Are you happy all the Home Assistant users? Well, if it's so, do click the like button right now and tell YouTube algorithm and me of course that you loved watching this video. And also share your thoughts down in the comments like how you will be using this matter protocol with your home assistant network. Share your thoughts down below and also do share this video to all the home automation enthusiasts and home assistant lovers. They're gonna love this video for sure. And yeah, that being said, I am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video. Till then explore, learn, share with me. Techie SMS.